This is the cheapest engine drive welder that you can buy at just over a thousand dollars on Amazon.com. Let's see if this thing's worth a fuck. So this is the Duro Star generator welder combo. Like I said, we purchased it off Amazon.com and uh, let's pop her open. 4,000 watt, supposedly 210 amps. I don't know what the duty cycle is, but it is a DC welding output. So it's direct current. Oh, it's got a key. Interesting. So that means it has a starter. So that's pretty cool. So here's what the face it looks like. It looks like it uses some sort of oddball, old school welding lug, like them tapered ones. But I don't have that style lug because who the fuck does? It's some Chinese bullshit. But this is some Chinese bullshit, so. We'll figure it out, we'll make it work. Here we go. It has a wheel kit. So that's kind of neat. It comes with the wheel kit, unlike your American competitors. It even comes with a fucking funnel. That's pretty, that's pretty dope. It would be dope if there was some welding lead in here, but I doubt there is, because that shit's expensive. Yeah, they give you some fucking welding lead. Or at least the terminals. Wow, that's pretty fucking impressive. So far, I gotta say. And then you got your wheels, your axle, and what appears to be your handles. All right, so let's see what is all entailed in this little kit here. I can see the lead, the welding lead lugs, and I also seen like a plug head, which I thought was pretty interesting. I'm not really sure what that does. I don't know how to approach this fucking thing. It looks like a fucking three-year-old at Christmas time wrapping their parents' presents. Look at that. That's some Chinese bullshit right there if I ever saw it. Somebody knows what this plug is? Leave it in the comments below. Oh yeah, sweet. They did give us some lugs. Check that out. That's actually really fucking cool. And um, the only thing is I don't have, think I have lead that small. I might though. I might have a piece of lead that small. We'll find out. We'll, we'll make it work one way or another. I ain't really worried about it. And then, yeah, I don't know what the fuck that does. I have no idea what the fuck you'd use that for. And then they actually give you, like, plug ends, which is kind of interesting. I have no idea why they would do that because these are pretty standard here. I mean, this is your standard, you know, 20-amp uh, plug there, and then this is your standard, like, 30-amp plug there. And then they also give you this little baggie. Let's see what's in it. Just a little toolkit. I mean... I'm, honestly, dude. So what else I thought was neat was it actually came with an altitude kit for six to 8,000 feet. So I'd imagine if you're over 6,000 feet, you can change the jets out on the car. Also, it has a battery. That's another neat thing. Well, sometimes they don't come with batteries. And let's see if it has oil in it already. Sometimes they have oil, sometimes they don't. Looks like we have oil. So that's one less thing we gotta worry about. It seems like all we have to do is throw some gas in this bad boy and then go ahead and fire her up. I'm not gonna bore you guys with me putting this fucking thing together. I know what you wanna see. You wanna see whether this motherfucker welds or not. So we'll skip ahead to that. Okay, we got it all put together. That didn't take much time at all. They give you pretty much everything you need, it seems like. So let's go ahead and try to start this thing. Put fuel in it, of course, too. And... Oh, we need to turn the fuel on, wouldn't I? I think actually this thing didn't come with enough oil in it. I think they probably was just residue. It does come with this neat little funnel. Makes it a little easier to fill it up. So we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of oil. So I'm thinking what the problem was is that it wasn't allowing it to start because it didn't have any oil in it. We're gonna go ahead and slam the dipstick in it. But it took exactly a quart. It probably could have took a little less, not a big deal. see what this thing can do as far as welding goes. We ain't fucking around on this one. We're really gonna put it through its paces and a real field test on this bucket. Let me show you what we're welding up with this little generator. So I identified this crack right here in this old repair. So I'm gonna gouge it out first, just like I normally would do. And then we're gonna use our Durastore and see if it'll weld it up. Now that we've got the main portion cut out, you can see the 
just weld it on top of the initial crack. So now we're going to weld this thing all the way out.
Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really impressed with this machine. Uh, this was a difficult job for this machine, and it passed it with flying colors as far as I'm concerned. It ran 6011, 6010, and 7018. So really, if you're just starting out in this industry, there's nothing wrong with this. Uh, you know, there's gonna be a lot of guys in the comments talking shit, but that's because they're retarded, okay? The machine does not make the welder. The welder makes the machine. Will I trade it for my Lincoln? Fuck no. But it's a great little backup machine. It's a great little 4,000 watt generator. It runs the grinder just fine. It runs beads perfectly. And honestly, it's a fucking value. I think it's a, a great fucking value without put, really putting this thing through the paces and with just using it today on this bucket, I'm really impressed. So as you can see, it's a very consistent bead. I'm very happy with this. Um, I would sell this work. Fortunately, this is my dad's bucket. I welded it up as a favor. I'm Melton Metal Anthony. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And uh, if you like what you saw here today, like, subscribe, share. If you didn't like it, go fuck yourself. I don't give two shits.